so um, hello guys uh, welcome to another video on selen zone so this video is uh, about our new italian midfielder christian botascio and uh, uh, already we have spoken about him in a previous live session but we thought uh, we could uh, it would be nice if we could have a tactical insight about him and that's why uh, our friend uh, shrivatsa joglekar has uh, joined us today uh, i'm pretty sure you guys would have uh, known him in twitter uh, he, he usually posts uh, player analysis whenever a club signs not only for chennai nfc he, he posts for all other clubs and uh, i will add the twitter uh, uh, twitter link of uh, shrivatsa in the description and i will add it in the comments also so make sure you give him a follow on twitter so shrivatsa welcome to the channel and welcome to the show yeah hi guys uh, uh, the Twitter reports I usually post about is uh, all the foreign players that are signed into the Indian Super League new league. So the fans get the idea regarding uh, who the player is, from where the player comes in, and uh, what the player might perform in the league basically. So I posted about the Christian uh, uh, when he when the rumor came rumors came out that uh, he is joining Chennai FC and uh, it was very very much confirmed about him joining Chennai FC. uh the response you have given to the post has been uh, really really good and i loved it uh sham said that you you need to come to come to the uh, our yeah. this uh, session and uh, you yeah. need to give some insights about christian so i thought i would uh, provide you very base, basic informations and uh, basic technical and tactical side of his things and uh, how may fit into his uh, the owen coils uh, side of the play uh i believe uh, our screen has uh, his wikipedia career actually uh, just go don't go through the appearances or the numbers that are given i have used this uh, screenshot to uh, showcase uh, for which all clubs he has played in the past uh, recent past actually so if you look at 2023 uh, he played in israel 2022 and 23 it was for volos fc in the greece uh, 21 22 it was in mexico top division and uh, 21 it was in Jap- uh, japan j league 1 and uh, before that it was uh, he was with the brest liga 2 so basically when when uh, a professional analyst looks at a player in a way uh, he thinks that uh, uh, whatever past seasons he has played in the league matters matters the most because uh, multiple of the leagues over the world uh, shares the same intensity as indian super league does some leagues uh, happen to be have uh, more of the intensity in the game style or uh, the technical side of the things you can say it's more pc some some of the leagues which are which are the lower division leagues are uh, less pc less intensity uh, it's uh, kind of not that kind of intensity it shares with the indian super league uh, so basically if you look at uh, uh, christian's history of coming into the indian super league you know the not much known of the league is the israel's league uh, liga halat it's uh, called liga halat if i'm not wrong so one doesn't get into the middle east side of the countries that easily the foreign players doesn't get into middle east side of the countries because uh, as the indian super league has uh, six foreigner sports the middle east countries too has uh, some of the specific foreigner squad, uh, sports in the squad so they look into the profiles that are uh, good into the technical tactical and even uh, the personality side of the things so one who comes from the middle east one who comes from the middle east uh, league you can say that they are the decent profiles that comes into the league uh, for a very uh, known example that is uh, dimitri petratos of uh, mohan bagan super giants joined last season so basically you saw how he performs how he plays um if you give them the right opportunity and the uh right side of the technical and the tactical uh you can say a role for them actually so i'll just uh, hop in into how actually christian is and uh, christian might fit into when coil's uh, style of the play so we can look into the next slide so uh, yeah just uh, before you go like uh, i would add, like to add one point like uh, so like we as fans look at players profile stats and then we decide to uh, talk about the player so uh, but uh, we, we thought that maybe if uh, if 
fans could understand a bit more about the player in terms of tactical analysis it would be great and uh, you look at these images when uh, first uh, when stewart sir first shared me these images uh, i couldn't understand anything in these images let me be honest so then uh, uh, then uh, then stewart sir told like uh, uh, it would be nice to for stewart sir to explain about these images and uh, that's what like uh, stewart sir will do now and uh, i hope you guys get a clear understanding of what christian exactly does uh so we looked at the player background basically from where he hails where he comes in uh very sp- i have uh, picked very uh, specific examples for you so i can make it easier for you all of the guys so you know uh, when when uh, when someone looks at a player when s- someone at the club a professional analyst a professional scouting uh, recruitment analyst looks at the club he watches whole of the matches uh it's not possible for for us the fans to watch whole of the matches and come to a judgment after saying that no he's a good player he's a bad player uh he's a average player so we prefer to look at the highlights at the most uh as as a fan we look at the highlights at the most so more than just the highlights there are the things you need to look up look up on uh, in a specific player profile so i thought why not for the fans will just uh, through through my player reports uh, i'll just make it short and sweet for everybody to understand because uh nobody does that much on on the indian football space currently uh especially in the uh, regards to the foreign players uh, everybody watches indian football 24 by 7 however possible uh, maybe you can say why are illegal stream links or maybe in the other ways they we all do that so for the foreign players and the foreign leagues we can't do that basically because uh, the yeah. indian super league foreigners get is from some of the lower leagues some of the higher leagues but uh, watching full of the matches it's not possible for as as a fan it's not possible for us so very yeah. specifically very shortly and sweetly i bring you uh, some slides for you some uh, things for you that uh, christian may uh, christian uh, would fit into chennai nfc so let's look at the the current image uh, image you have on your screen so uh, his team shapes up in 4 2 actually so very very common one that uh, happens in the indian super league so just looking at the uh, chennai inside uh, you will have jiteshwar alongside him if he's uh, deployed as uh, defensive midfielder and uh, the back four uh, of the defense so basically when a player profile uh, is looked upon there there is a very essential thing uh, one has to look that is uh, how good the player is with his feet uh, is he good with the only one feet he uses or is he good with the both feet is fits he uses that is the first criteria and the second criteria is uh, how good he is positionally because uh, you shouldn't get caught uh, in the opposition's trap anywhere and anyhow the previous defensive midfielder chennai nfc had duke a, a very good example of that uh, he used to be everywhere in the field here there here there so christian has a same profile for the positional awareness he has actually so you can look at uh, the image uh, in the chennai he will somewhat fit like that jiteshwar would be there and uh, christian would be the second defensive midfielder uh, if you can go to the second slide ah sure yeah so <clears throat> what a defensive midfielder needs essentially is he should uh, be the third cb in the defensive line actually so when a full back pushes himself up up or uh, you can say when a central defensive uh, sorry central defender pushes himself up the defensive midfielder is someone who should uh, drop back deep and uh, should be the one uh, who should uh, act as the third center back actually and when all the whole of the defense is at the back the defensive midfielder should contribute uh, into the attacks also so here's an example of how actually he acts as a third center back and has the vision to actually put over the long passes uh, over the opposition's head and uh, find the space behind opposition's defense actually you can see the curve actually i have drawn two slides i have provided for it so you can see the space behind opposition's defense and uh, he sees that uh, one of his teammates make uh, running uh, back to the opposition's uh, space they have got and he makes a good good uh, uh, pass to them so it's it's a very uh, uh, specific example for you uh, these stats differ the uh, mentality differ for, for multiple of the players 
but uh, i can tell uh, each player should share a vision uh, where uh, uh, they should have an eye for uh, what the moves their teammates are making and what they should be making actually so this is this is a very good example of uh, of that so we can move to the next yeah just uh, just before talking about the next slide uh, seeing at the before slide just one thing comes to my mind like if christian can do that for us like taking the ball from the defense and can spray those long balls behind the defense uh, opposition defense and i think we have very good uh, wingers like pacey wingers like vinci farooq and then uh, not to forget about the pacey strikers we have bought in corner shields and uh, jordan more so i think uh, if you can pick those passes for those wingers and the strikers and, and i think it will be a very big uh, big uh, like what you would say uh, a huge boost for the attack in, in terms of scoring goals as well i think, I think. what do you think about yeah. that uh, sure yeah yeah because uh, look uh, exploiting the wings and uh, finding space behind opposition defense is uh, uh, you can say a very common thing happens in football so he has that vision to do that and uh, he'll uh, you can uh, look at a profile of alex lima uh, uh, owen coins has has a, a a philosophy of playing a high intensity of the football and uh, used alex lima in the same way you can say not as a very traditional deep lying uh, midfielder de- defensive midfielder actually but uh, someone who can play in defense and also usually contribute into the attack that that's a very uh, uh, basic idea of the owen coins uh, Uh, philosophy you can say uh, next we uh, we have already have a image on the screen so we can see that uh, in the middle i have uh, uh, christian uh, i have put a red dot uh, who the christian is actually he receives uh, a pass from his teammate and he is there in between those five of the players you can see and uh, i have drawn lines to uh, showcase you uh, how in between he is between the players to receive the ball and uh, make a pass to to his uh, teammate if you can see christian has uh, on on the back of the christian there is a player uh, at near to the half line what happened at this specific event is he received the ball and passed the ball to that uh, uh, player he has in the back so basically when when a defensive midfielder or attacking midfielder when you when you look at the profiles of uh, these two uh, position specifics so you look how goodly they get get into the uh, positions and uh, how do they find the pocket spaces actually in the defense uh, uh, opposition's defense or the opposition's lines that they they have actually so you can you can actually say that he is a good pressure handler he he wants to take on challenges and uh, uh, make those attacking moves uh, he wants to make actually we can have next one yeah this i i uh, got back into see when when a player comes in people see the recent performance of a player so sometimes it might be good sometimes it uh, turn into something very bad so i track back into more track back into uh, 2021 if i'm not wrong this uh, this match was uh, in the mexican league in the mexican league. and uh, you can see i have put a red dot again on christian he comes into the box he knows that there is a space and uh, he receives one well. so a very j- just an example for you guys uh, which showcases that uh, knowing spaces and knowing how to position oneself in the match is very important for a player and uh, christian does that very well actually we can move to the next yeah sure so this is uh, something about pace i want to show so this is a transition of attack attacking transition actually this uh, match was in israel league so i find this uh, instances in many of the multiple matches so you can see red dot is again the christian one i have he received a ball from uh, his teammate and he is going to make a move that is a player straight next to him you can ma- make the slide next slide i can show it better yeah yeah so see sure. he was uh, at uh, the starting point earlier he made a pass to his teammate a teammate carried a ball a little further and he paced into that position he is currently right now so you can see the time stamp it has on uh, the uh, scoreboard actually it's actually 2 seconds if i'm not wrong 2 or 4 seconds 
Yeah, two seconds. Yeah, two seconds. So it, it showcases that he has the pace to link up well with the teammates. So attacking one or uh, defensive midfielder is not only should shouldn't be the only one to just circulate the ball around in own half. He should be the one who should be making uh, moves into the opposition's half itself. Also, we can go to the next. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So again, uh, this is this is not into the own half. Okay, this is in the opposition half. See where he is positioned actually. One who can say that he's a defensive midfielder. No, he's uh, a defensive midfielder, but contributes usually into the attack also. So you can see that uh, the opposition has uh, you can say four two or four three. Uh, the 4-2 or 4-3 formation they were playing and uh, he's someone who finds himself in between the lines and uh, makes sure that he receives the ball into the free space and makes uh, next you can move to the next slide i'll i'll show you uh, how he uh, gets himself into the wide spaces so central spaces is a central spaces half we can divide the pitch into the three parts central spaces half spaces and uh, wide spaces so central spaces is obviously the central space uh, we have uh, in the in the field the half spaces is actually uh, the the uh, the d where the d where we have 18 yard box and uh, the bigger circle we have in the center to the to the wingers where they are uh, actually uh, deployed that that space is called half spaces and now currently uh, christian is in the wide space actually where uh, wingers play the most so you can see that in in the previous slide there was uh, the situation that uh, he himself lo located in the half space and uh, now he is in the wide space in the in the next slide you can see in the wide space so in the previous slide again you can see that they the the opposition defensive structure was a uh, very uh, organized one actually there was a space behind full uh, full backs of theirs but in the next slide you can see that one of the, one of their uh, one of his teammate pulled the uh, opposition C cb off the position and now uh, as christian has the ball christian made uh, the move of making uh, the two passes through their defense so this is something a team should also have not rely on a single player but uh, also the teammate should understand what a single player has in his mind and how we should move according to his uh, style of play so i'll uh, keep keep up some pointers some strength and weaknesses as the final thoughts of mine uh, as i told earlier a comfortable player on the ball but uh, you can say he has a less height so that's an, that's comes in as a disadvantage for me because uh, i have seen in multiple of his matches that uh, he gets fouled by the opposition so it's hand concern for uh, him so but uh, a defensive midfielder should be someone who should be comfortable on the ball right and should be in the pocket spaces so he shouldn't engage in a physical battles actually so that's not a concern actually that's actually uh, you can say they can uh, exploit this uh, exploit this uh, strength of him and use him very well uh, he he's a good player in one versus one situations actually uh, not a fancy dribbler he uh, for, for example we have in the league noah sadodoi who dribbles uh, like uh, you can say ronaldo or uh, messi he dribbles yeah. like that he thinks okay uh, it's it's a quality of a player but christian is not a fancy dribbler he won't dribble uh, in a way in a intensity uh, one one thinks that uh, a player should but uh, because he's he's good at his link up play he needs a player in attacking midfielder of course chennai fc have krivilaro now so krivilaro and uh, christian is going to be a good partnership at chennai for what owen coils usually demands and uh, as uh, you told that uh, chennai have good wingers now and uh, corner shields is there there's a need yeah. of uh, some wide players now white players who can uh, okay. combine with the uh, christian very goodly and uh, if you look uh, yeah i didn't add a slide in this 
off the ball he is a very good press, presser he acts as a second striker to the striker or uh, even sometimes acts as attacking midfielder uh, so let's say you uh, chennai fc don't have a ball and uh, they are defending in 442 shape so he will be there in that 44 uh, the middle line of the four and uh, he will press very goodly in that this there there are two of the concerns actually i have came across uh, player weaknesses is something that opposition exploits a lot you can see that from this central spaces he doesn't uh, shoot the ball very much i have saw someone over the social media saying that uh, he shoots very well from the central spaces maybe uh, the team he was playing in the past three years was not fit for him or uh, didn't get that opportunity to showcase his best of his trade so he is not someone who shoots a lot from the central uh, spaces out from outside the 18 yard box and another concern that is uh, he can go into the wide area he can link up well in the wide areas of the pitch in the attacking uh, attacking phases but he la- lacks making uh, uh, pinpoint crosses so uh, owen need to uh, rely fully on the wingers or uh, the other players he has for making the crosses into the box from the uh, wing side so that's it for my final thoughts uh, it was good for me to be here yeah that's what like uh, when uh, when we signed rafael crivellaro like uh, every fan was concerned about his injury concerns and thought that maybe we would uh, once again go into the season what if rafael crivellaro gets injured we might not have an other attacking midfielder again so what chenen uh, most of the chenen fans thought was the other midfielder should be a guy who can uh, slot in in uh, defensive midfield or who can slot in a pivot or who can also be deployed as an attacking midfielder if needed in the worst case if rafa gets injured so do you think that uh, batasho is a perfect uh, perfect perfect uh, uh, profile for the thing uh, for the things uh, fans were looking for so look uh, there are some secrets in the market that clubs usually don't uh, reveal in the that openly but uh, there are some uh, positions they recruit so basically you can see a very uh, uh, good example that that is of uh, mumbai city actually so they have uh, taken the players that play multi positions right so yeah. this profile also fits into that actually christian is a profile who can play as a defensive midfielder and who can contribute in the attack also so this shows yeah. that uh, rafael crivellaro will have uh, a partner in the attacking midfield if uh, there is absence if there is an indian uh, absence of indian player actually if he doesn't get partner up, up the pitch he has christian for it uh, jiteshwar as well as, as uh, i have seen till now jiteshwar is playing really good and i guess uh, christian would make a good partnership with uh, jiteshwar yeah that's why we have ayush as well now uh, the new signing ayush from kerala blasters so so like uh, yeah. thanks uh, shivatsa for joining us and uh, giving your thoughts uh, i think uh, we hope to have you in uh, more in the future shows maybe uh, other two foreign signings and i think uh, it would be more helpful if you can give us more insights about the other signings as well yeah thank you guys uh, it was a pleasure to be here uh, the love and support you have shown to my uh, player report is uh, very very appreciable uh, keep loving i'll uh, maybe on the next signing i'll be back here again to give some of the tactical insight about the thanks Th- thank you guys uh, before you go i have added the i've had a uh, shivatsa twitter uh, link in the description as well as in the comments make sure you uh, give a follow to him on twitter guys thank you guys thank you yeah thanks sham